Hi guys, I'm Rita. In this episode, I will show you how you can set up a recurring invoice on Zoho Books accounting software. You can set up new recurring invoice by clicking on quick links button and select recurring invoice, or you will need to go through sidebar sales section and there is subsection called recurring invoices. To add a new recurring invoice, you can click on plus sign there or click on red button new. Select the customer or add a new customer. You will be presented with a customer card to fill in. I will select Jane. Profile name, that is your uh, recurring invoice name. So I will have Jane monthly online course. Okay. If you have order number, add it here, otherwise leave blank. Repeat entry, that's how often invoice want you want to be issued weekly monthly and any other um, frequencies available you can also select a custom in my case this will be monthly start on mine start date is 1st of june but you can select any uh, date which would be more applicable to you if it never expires or there is a particular expired date. In my case, I have expired date end of this year. And payment terms and conditions, if this is due on a receipt or when you click on drop down list, there is different payment terms. Uh, that means how soon customers should pay for this invoice. In my case, it's a due on receipt. Allocate salesperson if you are using salesperson's uh, system on Zoho Books. E item details, this is where you can select what item or service this person subscribes for. In my case, I have an online course and quantity I have one hour or I can say that it's four hours per month at a rate. If I want to add discount percentage or set fee uh, discount, you can add it here, otherwise leave blank. We'll delete second line. If you need to add another line, click on this icon and you will be add, uh, presented with next item line. If your subscription is, for example, for products and there is a shipping charges or delivery charges involved, add delivery charges here and it will add to total of invoice. Under customer notes, you can add details like thanking for a business or adding bank details like I have provided here. If you have terms and conditions, what you want to note on for this particular invoice, you can add it here. Then once you have added information, click save. Okay, so Jane monthly online course has been added. If you click on Jane monthly online course on right hand side, you can see overview. You can see next invoice, how it will look like. You can see recent activities. You can edit, create an invoice, and under more, we can stop, clone, or delete this recurring invoice. In this episode, I showed how you can set up a recurring invoice on Zoho Books accounting software. If you have any questions or require any further advice, feel free to reach out to me.